Hello, my name is Rose. I am a freshman at the University of Rochester studying computer science and something else that I have yet to determine. Um, so I'm going to answer some of your questions and I'll jump right into it. Um, I care very much about doing well in this program. It sort of jumped out to me when I was doing research on summer opportunities because um, I really like the amount of independence and flexibility you get. Um, I like that you have a tangible product at the end um, and I like that you're doing something that you know actually has meaning and and will be able to benefit um, you and and your community. Um, and these are the sort of projects that I am interested in doing in the future. Um, you know I'm I'm fascinated by how we can use technology to uh, construct and then implement solutions to you know some of the world's biggest problems and and the world's smallest problems. Um, I just think there's so much potential for technology to be incorporated into to our lives and make it better. Um, so this is a very you know real example of of how I could do that in the future. Um, so that was a long way of saying that yes I do care very much about doing well. Um, yes I think I will enjoy that this project would be mostly research-based. Um, I would expect it to be considering that I there's so much for me to learn uh, about computer programming and computer modeling specifically um, so I, I definitely would expect a, a fair amount of research to go into it. Um, and I do think that is going to be useful for my future, as I said before. Uh, this is the sort of thing that I, this is the area that I really would love to explore and sort of see where I can fit into it and where my skills would be, um, you know, the biggest asset they could be. Um, so, yes, to answer that question. <laughs> um, uh, challenges? Um, I mean, I think, of course, there should be challenges. There are always challenges when you're learning something new. And um, when you set out a goal and, and you know, that, that's pretty hard to reach, there should be some challenges along the way. Um, but as I said, I'm definitely up for it. Um, and that's also, you know, that's what makes it fun. If, if I knew how to do everything, then it would be kind of boring. So um, I'm excited for that. Um, I have two projects in mind that I'm considering. Um, the first one is a program that allows you to copy paste news articles into it. It would then scan the article, look for certain words, and then tell you if it was politically biased in any way, um, or not in any way, you know, if it was left-leaning or right-leaning. Um, and that way the reader could have a more informed sort of mindset going into the article. Um, and hopefully be able to, you know, be aware of the biases that exist and, and get to the um, hard truth. Um, so that's the first idea. The second idea would be a model um, to help with decision making during the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, so I know for me, it's been extremely difficult to, you know, just decide what is risky and what is not, you know? Um, like, which grocery store should I go to? Is it safe for me to go order a coffee? These are questions that seem pretty arbitrary to me at the moment, and um, I think it would be very cool to make a model um, that would allow you to put in a bunch of variables, such as how big the room is, um, you know, how many people are in there, whether or not they're wearing masks, uh, how long you would be in there for, etc. Um, and after you put in all of these factors, it would then give you an assessment of how risky that event or activity would be, um, just so that you can make more informed decisions for you, um, you know, for the, <laughs> for the rest of this pandemic. Hopefully it doesn't last long, but uh, uh, yeah, so those are my two ideas. And then the final question is a bit tricky. The answer is a bit tricky. Um, so when I think of machinery, it's, you know, I always think of machines as, as things created by humans to serve humans. So they're sort of inherently subservient to our species. Um, therefore, 
it would be kind of strange to give machines feelings um, because I don't see a lot of situations in which that would directly benefit humankind. Um, however, I think any you should be respectful of and, and considerate of any being that has feelings. You know, if, if something is able to feel pain or suffering, it's your duty to try to minimize that pain and suffering as much as you can. So um, regardless of whether it's an animal or a machine, regardless of their intellect or, you know, brain capabilities, if, if they can feel pain, then you should not try to exacerbate that at all. And that's my final answer. Um, all right, so those are all the questions you have for me. I look forward to sending in the rest of my application and hopefully hearing back from you soon. Thank you so much.